Hello everyone and welcome to this video on tips and tricks for the Lottie Files plugin for After Effects. In this video, we'll be going through some of the new features in the plugin by exporting a Lottie animation through the plugin, checking what features of the animation are incompatible, working around them, and then uploading the animation to the Lottie Files platform straight from the plugin. Let's get started. So this is a landing page design in Figma and uh, all these illustrations on this page are supposed to be animated. We'll be going through this main landing screen's animation. It has already been animated in After Effects. We'll export the animation using the Lottie Files plugin for After Effects. We'll identify our comp and hit this button. This will render the animation. The animation has been rendered into the Lottie format. Now we'll check out the feature support checker. Inside the feature support checker, you can see what part of your animation is incompatible with your target platform. So as we can see over here, some effects are compatible with Lottie Web, but they are not compatible with Lottie Android or Lottie iOS, such as the Gaussian Blur and Layer Styles. So we'll go about fixing these issues. We'll try to eliminate these effects that are incompatible. So we'll go into the layers and we'll try deleting the effects on these layers. To delete the effects on these layers, you can simply go into this search bar and type effects. This will display all the effects on each layer. All of them just happen to be Gaussian Blur, which is incompatible. So we'll delete all these effects. Now that the effects are all deleted, we'll go and delete layer styles. So we'll search layer styles and we'll get rid of all these layer styles. Now as you can see, the look of the design has changed. Previously, it looked like this. Now, it looks like this. We want the animation to look exactly the same as before. But how is that possible? Layer styles and effects might not be compatible, but PNGs are. What we have done is that we exported all the layers that were affected by the deleting of the layer styles and effects. So all we have to do is re-import those assets back into After Effects and replace them. This shape right here, previously, it looked like this. So we'll replace this shape with the PNG of the original shape. And we'll reanimate it accordingly. And we'll do the same for the rest of the layers. After we replace those assets with PNGs, the animation looks closer to what it used to look. We can go ahead and export the animation back into the Lottie Files platform. So we'll go into the plugin again. We'll check if the animation is still compatible. So we'll click on this button to render. We de-exported the animation. It looks exactly the way it did before and there are no issues that have been found. So it's fully compatible with every platform. We can go and update the animation on top of the previous animation in our workspace. So we'll navigate to our folder in the Lottie Files workspace. We'll click on the previous animation and we'll click update. Then we'll select the frame. In this case, it's frame one and we'll click upload new version. This will update the animation on top of the previous animation without leaving After Effects. Awesome, so there you have it. So this was a recap of some of the tips and tricks of the Lottie Files plugin for After Effects. We made our animation compatible with all different platforms and also updated the compatible version on top of the incompatible version. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.